What is up, Flock Phoenix over here, and welcome back to the Farming Simulator 22 Phoenix Moment. This is where we talk about everything happened last week, everything that happened this week, and so on. But before we get into last week, you guys know we have to start off by thanking our elite Flock members. These are beautiful people who help support the channel every single month, and one of the perks of being an elite Flock member is your name shouted out at the beginning of every Phoenix Moment. So without further ado, let's run down this list of awesome people. We have Mr. Matt Carter, Mr. JD Pizarro's Gaming, Mr. Cass Pajamas, Mr. Brandon Z, and joining this elite group here is Jackson Modden. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support. It does mean a lot to me and as always, I love your faces. And Jackson, uh, welcome sir. This is your first time here and uh, just so you know, I love your face just as much as I love the other one's faces. Alright? If you guys would like to join this elite group of people, you can check out that join button down below. It'll tell you everything you need to know about becoming an elite flock member, uh, the perks and all that jazz. Join button down below. Now let's move on to our comment of the week. Now I go through my comments each week and I pick one that stands out to me and I give that uh, person who commented a mini shout out here uh, by reading their comment in the Phoenix moment. So this one's going to come from gaming underscore fanatic 717. Uh, he says he quoted what I said in the mod spotlight from last week where I said I'm canceled in the Jeep community. Uh, he says, trust me, owning two Jeeps myself and having a father who owns three, you aren't saying anything a Jeep owner doesn't already know. Love the videos and the enthusiasm you bring to them. Thanks, man, for another awesome one. Thank you for the awesome comment, Gaming Fanatics. Man, the comments like this is what makes my day. Like, I, I'm not going to lie. I've had just kind of a crappy day. Uh, not because, like, anything drastic has happened. Just, it's been a long day. Uh, I got yelled. I started off the morning by getting yelled at by some crazy Karen, which we'll talk about later. But uh, reading comments like this really do make my day, and uh, that's why I chose it. So thank you, gaming fanatics. Uh, you're awesome too, and I love your face too. Okay. Anyway, let's go ahead and move on to last week. So we got a lot to talk about for last week because a lot happened last week, and I know it doesn't seem like much because I got every single video except for Friday's video and that's because Friday today was so hectic for me um, but I got everything else even with Wednesday being a crazy day for me as well uh, I did get everything else uploaded so um, quick rundown <laughs> uh, my wife if, for those of you who haven't been watching my wife uh, had surgery in November uh, because she thought that she had a deviated septum and uh, come to find out, uh, the doctor found what is a non-malignant tumor. I can't remember what the actual name for it. It's some crazy long name that sounds made up. And someone did make I, I swear, a lot of these medical terms are just made up by people who want to seem sophisticated and say words that other people can't. So anyway, it's a, it's a tumor that has grown in her nose. Um... To the point where she can't breathe through her nose. Uh, the second doctor has looked at the scans of her face and just like, you really can't breathe at all, can you? Uh, so in November, uh, the doctor went in to try to fix it and quickly realized it's something that she couldn't do. And we had, she had to make a audible and, uh, you know, cancel that or abort that surgery and and refer her to a doctor at UPenn which is up in Philadelphia so we've been having a huge uh, just an absolute tear of time getting her up there because of insurance and like the insurance approved it and then they switched the doctor on her so then our insurance didn't cover the new doctor so we had to go back through and get it all reapproved it's been it's been like three months of, of this <laughs> Just non-stop phone tag and trying to get up there. We finally did make it up there on Wednesday. And um, we have a uh, date set. It's not really on the book yet because waiting for insurance to improve it. Improve it. Approve it. Um, so right now as it stands on the 28th. Yeah, the 28th, uh, my wife is scheduled to have surgery, which will keep her up in Philadelphia overnight. So that week, 
um, which is not this week, or not next week, not the week after, but the, the to less than three weeks from now. Um, could get a little bit hectic with all that because I'm going to have to make sure everything's done prior to her going you know, going up to have surgery that when she comes home. I, can, I don't have to worry about anything. Just help take care of her. Uh, but, so, that's, that's the, and a lot of people were like, jeez, man, you got a lot. Yeah, my dad just had back surgery. He's doing well. I think I talked about it last week where he's actually able to walk around the park where he couldn't even walk to his back fence from the back porch, um, which is, it's not, it's not really that far. Um, so the fact that he's doing, he's doing a lot better. For those of you who keep asking, uh, you know, he's doing great. Uh, not much updated from then because he's still, you know, he's still recovering. But, um, yeah, so now my wife's going in for surgery. Luckily, uh, they're, they're thinking she's only going to be down and out for about a week. Um, and hope, hopefully this, this helps. This, I mean, he, the doctor, he, the doctors, I can't say enough about how um, friendly and uh, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. Anyway, he he was he was pretty cool, cool, and uh, it's something he does literally on a weekly basis. So it's not uh, it's not anything crazy. And he said he hasn't he's never had any complications with these type of surgeries before and he doesn't expect to have any this time so that's that's a plus um but yeah so that there's that uh there's a lot of other stuff that we'll talk about uh you know further down the line uh if, if it ever comes to fruition but yeah so that's it's kind of a weight off our shoulders knowing that this is finally getting taken care of um the other thing that happened is friday I got yelled at by Karen. <laughs> so, the reason why I missed Friday's video was because um, it was it was kind of everything just kind of went out the window. So, first thing is I get up at six thirty to because my wife was supposed to have off, so we were sleeping in. Um, so, I get up at six thirty to get my kid up. And, you know let her get ready for school and then I take her to the bus stop every morning as we're leaving to take her to the bus stop fire alarm goes off for gas leak at a local uh, daycare here in town and uh, so I as soon as my kid gets on the bus I book it to the, the daycare and uh, I'm out taking pictures when this lady comes yelling she's running yelling at me to stop taking pictures because there's children the opposite direction that I'm taking pictures. You can't make this up. So, uh, I think there, there's only one thing I took that the kids were seen for like a split second. I took a video of Tower 50 responding and as it, it slowly creeps by you can see the kids for a split second. That's literally the only thing that I took that had the kids in it. All the pictures I was taking, I was taking at angles where the kids that were evacuated from daycare wouldn't be seen. And I post everything to Instagram, so everything is there. Uh, so I'm literally moving myself in between the trucks to where I'm taking pictures of the trucks and not the kids. Um, and this woman is like freaking out. She's like, stop taking pictures. There's kids over here. I'm like, Okay, and I even I even told her I was like, I'm not shooting towards the kids. Like I'm not that that's a that's a bad statement to put on YouTube. I just realized that I'm not taking pictures in the direction of the kids. I'm take I'm solely focused on the trucks. And anyone who follows me on in, on my East Coast Emergency Instagram, if you guys are interested in emergency pictures, I have an emergency photography Instagram called East Coast Emergency. On Instagram. Duh. Instagram on Instagram. But anyway. Anyone that follows me over there knows I don't really take pictures. Unless it's like an intense fire. Which I haven't been able to photograph yet. Um, I, I would make an exception for that. But I don't really take pictures of the houses. 
I don't really take pictures of like vehicles are if it's an accident. I usually don't even go to traffic accidents. Um, I try not to put you know, take any pictures of that um, to respect the privacy of others. Like I did get like a picture of uh, when they were rescuing a guy from a uh, was it a scissor lift or one of those those manless whatever they're called. I, I blur them out. I blur out the patients if I somehow get a picture of, you know, someone um, that they're they're providing services for. Is that a patient that they're you know like they're trying to help someone? I do blur those out. I don't post those. I've even uh, asked by uh, you know a member of the fire company to not post any pictures of him. Any pictures of him get blurred out. A lot of the other firefighters want to be a part of the pictures. I've had them message me asking if I got any pictures of them. Stuff like that. So I'm very cautious about what I take pictures of and so on. So this woman was like freaking out for nothing. And uh, yeah. So that's how I started my day. Just getting berated by some woman for doing something I didn't do. I can understand if I was just a creepy guy. And, and you, to, to be fair, as I said in Friday's video... You know, there's some people that probably find me creepy for out there taking pictures of fire trucks. But there's a, I've come to know there's a lot of other people who are interested in that stuff. I thought it was just me and I was weird. But there's even another guy in my, my hometown that does the same thing. So I don't feel as weird. And I've been a little bit more bold when I'm doing it. I used to just kind of hide in between the cars and take pictures. Now I'm just kind of just walking around the parking lot snapping pictures. But... Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, that's how they start. And I come home after all that, and my wife, uh, actually had to be, uh, she had to get blood, blood drawn for, uh, her, the, the pre-checks for her surgery. And uh, I was like, well, you know, now it's, it's just not worth going to bed, because now if I go lay down... Uh, to sleep in a little bit longer, then you know I'm gonna just gonna be in a bad mood. So I was like, all right, screw it. I'll play some w WWE 2K24. And uh, then my wife, after like a not even an hour of playing WWE 2K24, messages me is like, would you, would you mind if I went into work? And I was like, I guess. So I end up we went off to get her her blood work done, then took her to work. And I was like, all right, I'm going to get, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll take a nap while she's at work. And I got maybe an hour, maybe an hour and a half of sleep. So I'm tired right now. That was my Friday. <laughs> Getting yelled at by Karens and just everything just going haywire. Uh, then my kid, I had to go run somewhere and my kid didn't have her key. So I had to leave my key in the freaking reef just so she could get through the door kids man i'm telling you I'm telling you <laughs> anyway um so that that's that was the that's the reason why i missed friday's video because it was nothing it it wasn't chaotic as in there was a lot of just crap going on other than karen uh it was just nothing went as the day was supposed to be as we planned it if that makes any sense anyway i'm tired of boring you guys uh, with with uh, my rambling, so let's go ahead and talk about next week and what to expect next week. So first things, Phoenix moment. You're watching it now. If you're not, well, then I don't, I don't, don't, don't know what to tell you. It doesn't matter what I what I would tell you because you weren't not watching it anyway. Jeez, Pete. Oh well. Anyway, moving on. Uh, Monday uh, will be a. Uh, FS901 garage update video. Huge update. You guys aren't going to miss it. If you guys have been keeping up with the Duggan Hills pack, you are not going to want to miss this video. It's it's awesome. It's just awesome. I'm I'm so proud. I'm so proud. I'm a proud uh, mod pack maker. My Bob. Anyway, moving on. Second, there will be a second video on Monday, and it's going to be some WWE 2K23. Lame, I know, because 24 is out, but me and PJ just record a bunch of 2K23. So there's going to be 
uh, a couple weeks of 2K23 going up on Mondays just because you know we recorded it. I'm going to post it even though the 24 is out. Tuesday will be will, um. Why did I just want to say dying light? Sons of the Forest. There you go. Sons of the Forest will be back uh, for uh, for that week in a couple more weeks. We still have more more of that recorded. I'm losing my mind. I'm starting to get tired. I'm fading. Uh, <laughs> so that's Tuesday. Wednesday will be a mod spotlight. Uh, we will do whatever. What we only had the one truck, I believe, from last week. So hopefully, there's more stuff that's come out since then that we can cover. Um, but there will be a mod spotlight on Wednesday. On Thursday, there will be a Gotham Knights. I think. No, actually, no. We're gonna be doing. Um, Sunken Land now because we finished uh, what I have of Gotham Knights. If we record more, then I will post more. But uh, I, I've used all my Gotham Knights recordings, so now we are on to Sunken Land, and we have plenty of Sunken Land content to put up. So, yay! Uh, <laughs> Friday will be a Phoenix Plays. I think I have a game to do a Phoenix Plays on. I have a couple, I think, actually. So yeah, we'll we'll do a. Uh, Phoenix plays on Friday. Saturday will be more Dying Light, I believe. How many more of those? I think we only have a couple more of those left. Two more Dying Lights left. And then I'm I'm done on that. So, or uh, out of that. So, you know, whatever comes along. If not, we just won't have a you know, Saturday video. We'll just do Saturday live streams unless I can find like a single game player to take its spot. We'll see about it. Um, yeah, so there you go. As far as live streams go, you guys know on Thursday night PJ's live streams. He didn't live stream this past week, but you know he's been busy at work. So uh, if he does stream, it will be on Thursday, usually between eight and nine p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You guys can anything you see on my channel that has with cast pajamas in the title that is all recorded while he streams on Thursday night. So if you want to see his point of view or if you want to just see all that content together instead of having to wait each week, you can check out his channel linked in the description down below. Friday is my live stream night, farming Friday as always, um, usually between 8 and 9 p.m. as well, Eastern Standard Time. And then Saturday is uh, whatever Saturday. It depends on who's going to be around, what everybody wants to play, all that jazz. You guys know how it works. Um, it usually we figure out who's going to be there, and then for like an hour we we put out ideas until someone just is like, "Let's do this." Um, <laughs> I think. Uh, well, no, that's it's last week. Never mind. Sorry. Um. Actually, Farming Friday will be an early live stream. Sorry, I just I just looked up in my schedule. Uh, so Farming Friday will be early. Uh, it will probably be a, probably around like 5:30 ish instead of uh, at eight. Whereas Saturday will be normal time. Uh, as far as uh, oh Sunday. Sunday is JT's live stream. He usually live streams um, Among Us on on Sundays. He's been doing GTA 4 uh, Let's Play as well. Uh, if you guys would like to see that, you can again check his channel out down below. The GTA streams are kind of like whenever he feels like it. Uh, the Among Us ones are usually between like 11 and 12 uh, Eastern Time. So if you guys want to see that, again, channel link down below. You can uh, head on over there and check him out. He's probably already done live streaming by the time this goes live. So I put his, I plug his at the end so, you know, next week he can get some some views. But that is that's pretty much it. That sums it up for me. If you guys did like this uh, video, do me a huge favor. Leave a like down below. It does help me out so very, very much. And I do appreciate it so very, very much. If you guys do want to see future Farming Sim 22 Phoenix moments, be sure to click that subscribe button. If you guys want to be notified whenever I do a live or upload a video, click that notification bell. As always, guys, thank you so very, very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.